This video will share tips on how to use color fill effects to create shadows and reflections like the ones you see here. Hello, this is Randy with some Create Studio Pro tips. You can really do some amazing things with the color fill effect. Hey, don't you mean colorful effect? No, I mean the color fill effect in Create Studio Pro. But thank you for interrupting. You're welcome. Okay, back to the tips. I prepped this scene with a background and two copies of Tom with the happy action. To apply the color fill effect, click the star in the far left. Then click on Color Fill and drag it onto the character on the canvas or drag it onto a track in the timeline. As you see, the default color is a bright yellow. Once the color fill is applied, you will notice in the top right that Effects is highlighted and the Overlay function is turned on. You can toggle the effect on and off by clicking on the toggle icon. I'm going to select the Tom on the left and open up Effects. By clicking on the word Overlay or using the toggle on, a window of parameters will be displayed. Here you can change the color of the fill. Let's say I want the fill to be the dark blue of the background. Click on the yellow box, then select the eyedropper, move your cursor over the color you want to pick, and mouse click. Let's move on to Opacity. The Opacity parameter for Color Fill works differently than the Properties Opacity, so I will show examples of each. When reducing the Opacity and the Color Fill effect, you will see the fill color diminish and the original character showing through. Switching to the Tom on the right, we will reduce the character's opacity in the Settings tab. Here you see the yellow diminish, but it remains a yellow color. As the character opacity decreases, the background starts to peek through. That is not the case for the color fill opacity. To cast a shadow, you will want to use the character opacity. To cast a reflection, you will want to use the color fill opacity. All right, let's cast a shadow. Create a scene with your character doing an action. Duplicate the track with your character action. Then apply the color fill effect to the lower track. Change the yellow color to black. Rotate and size the shadow to fit the scene. Tip. If the background already has shadows, make sure the character shadow is rotated in the same direction. When the shadow is aligned correctly, open the Settings tab, then Properties, and reduce the opacity to match your scene. Here are a couple more tips. Make sure the shadow is cast to a flat surface. If it falls on other objects, then the shadow will not look realistic. As best you can, match the shadow's feet with the character's feet. If the shadow's feet does not join the character's feet, the shadow is not realistic. I am hopeful that Create Studio Pro will include the skew property, which will solve this feet shadow issue. Now let's switch to casting a reflection. Choose a background that has a reflective element, such as a window or body of water. Let's walk through the steps to build a reflection of this surfer character. I chose this beach background because it already has reflections in the water. Next, add the surfer character Tip. Use the surfboard as a guide in sizing your character. I see the tip of the red surfboard is just off screen, so I will place the surfer's head at about the same position and have his feet near the water. Now that the surfer is positioned, duplicate the track and apply the color fill effect to one of the tracks. I am going to change the yellow color to one of the shades of blue in the water. 
To create the reflection effect, reduce the color fill opacity to a value that suits the background. I chose a value of 35%. Now let's flip that track vertically and position the reflective head so that it matches the image that is not reflected. I will move the head slightly above the board. All right, that looks good. To keep organized, I will rename the track to Reflection. Don't worry about the feet being too long. That will be fixed by masking later. In fact, I'm going to use two masks. One for the blue water for a stronger reflection, and the other for the foamy part of the sea where the reflection should be less visible. Since I will apply two masks, I will need two copies of this reflection, so duplicate the reflection track. Pull down a rectangle shape and size it so it covers the surfer reflection in the blue water. Duplicate the shape and size it so it covers the reflection in the foamy water, but does not reach the sand. Make sure that the edges of the two shapes meet each other. Select the shape in the blue water and also select one of the reflection tracks. Right mouse click and mask the surfer with the rectangular shape. The upper body reflection can now be seen in the water. Next, select the shape in the foamy water and reduce the opacity to 25%. Tip. The opacity of the mask affects the image that is being masked. If the mask is less opaque, the masked image will also be less opaque. That really works nice for this image here. I can barely see the lower body of the surfer, so I decrease the opacity too much. I will Control Z to unmask, then change the opacity to 50% and mask it again. That's better, and it adds quite a bit of realism to the scene. There you go. That is how to cast shadows and reflections using Create Studio Pro Color Fill Effect. But wait! As a bonus tip, let's explore animation parameters of Color Fill. I have a scene here with Tom who is spiraling down, and as he does so, he gets smaller and smaller as if in falling into a deep hole. What I want is Tom to be less defined the deeper in the hole he goes. And to do that, we will use the color fill effect. I will apply the effect to Tom and change the color to this dark blue. When Tom is large in the foreground, he should be completely visible. But as he gets smaller, we will see less of his features. And to do that, we can toggle on the in animation. When I open the track, you can see a region at the beginning of the track that has a fill-in space. And we can change the length of the time by dragging the in to the left or right. So what does fill-in do? At the beginning, we can see Tom fully. But as we approach the end of the fill-in region, Tom is turning into the color we selected. It is a neat feature that adds depth to your video. Good day everybody and happy creating.